Hello Hitman fans! In this video I'll show you how to eliminate Carl Lindgren by making him strike an explosive golf ball. The fiber wire is in my loadout because I intend to eliminate Stuyvesant with it. That being said, let's get to work. We start with Carl Ingram. We go to the penthouse. Follow me. Slow down. Take the crowbar. We continue. We need the disguise. There is a penthouse guard near the server room. Throw the crowbar to distract him. Command, I just heard something. I don't know. I'm gonna go check it out. Let's go. I wonder what. Take the crowbar. We drag the body to the nearby storage room. In the closet, he goes. Take his uniform. There is a janitor key on the table. Take it. Now follow me. I am going to show you where the exploding golf ball is. This lady smuggled the exploding golf ball inside the building. We don't know what she intended to do with it, but we do know she changed her mind and she doesn't want to use it anymore. She stashed the golf ball in here. Use the janitor key or the crowbar to open the door. Here it is. Now we infiltrate the penthouse. Follow me. Using the crowbar, open this door. Ingram's routine consists of walking around the penthouse while talking into a dictaphone. He does not play golf. To make him go to the penthouse terrace and play golf, we have to disturb him while he is on his dictaphone. Twice. Once in the study by turning on a radio, and the second time in his suite by turning on a vacuum cleaner. Right now, Ingram is in the study. Here he is, sitting in his chair talking into the dictaphone. We disturb him by turning on this radio. Uh... Where the hell is that racket coming from? I said I needed peace. He's pissed. Mission accomplished. Now we go upstairs to the master suite. 47. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map to We wait. The guard is telling the servant not to use the vacuum cleaner while Ingram is around. The guard is an enforcer, so we stay out of sight until the conversation ends and he goes away. What do they want me to do? Vacuum with my mouth? Bitch bastards. What are you looking at? It's a vacuum cleaner. Go away and I'll kill the rich bastard that is making your life miserable. Hmm, that worked. Unfortunately, the servant will only stay in the bathroom for about a minute. Unless we do something, he will come back to the vacuum cleaner and stare at it. Turning on the vacuum cleaner is an illegal action. No one must see 47 doing it. Ingram is here. Two bodyguards are following him. We wait until Ingram and the bodyguards are inside the master suite. Turn on the vacuum cleaner. I'm no body language expert, but I don't think he's happy. Because we disturbed Ingram two times, we completed the challenge, disturbing the peace. Now we go to the penthouse terrace and make the exploding golf ball available for heating. FYI, it doesn't matter the order in which we disturb Ingram. 
You can turn on the vacuum cleaner while he is in his suite and then wait for him downstairs and turn on the radio while he is in the study. The result is the same. Place the exploding golf ball in the golf ball bucket. We may now consider Carl Ingram dead. I'm going to stay here and show you what happens. gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. I'll exfiltrate the area using this shortcut. If you haven't unlocked it yet, use the crowbar and complete the challenge Shortcut Penthouse Terrace Ladder. We are in the place where we found the exploding golf ball. We go one floor down to the staff elevator to take care of Stuyvesant. Subdue this guard. We need to clear the area for what happens next. Drag him to the nearby closet. We wait here. Sooner or later, Stuyvesant will come. It's part of his routine. When we pacified the guard, he dropped his pistol. Stuyvesant saw the pistol and he will tell his bodyguard about it. The bodyguard will pick up the pistol and he will go to a weapons crate. Stuyvesant will continue walking without him. I'll check it out. You've got it. What irresponsible person left a weapon lying around? Wait until he reaches the closet. That way, we can hide the body immediately after. We got it in 47. Soon there will be no more problems. We still have work to do. Follow me. In here. Take the security key. Take the staff key card. Using the security key, unlock this door. Well, what do you know? A surveillance recorder. Wait for the doors to close and then erase the evidence. The targets are dead, which means the elevator doors are now open. We go one floor down. Go right. Here. Swipe the staff keycard. Now we go down these stairs until we can go no more. Interact with the door and complete the challenge Shortcut Atrium Lobby Door. Let's see. There are a lot of NPCs in the Atrium Lobby. We are going to have to neutralize most of them if we want to maintain the Silent Assassin rating while completing the challenge Suiting Attire. Let's begin. What's that? That's one. Five more to go. Number two. Now we go to the deposit room. Let's make number three walk to the closet. Excuse me? Anybody there? That's just... <laughs> 
Throw the crowbar to lure number four. Wait for the door to close. Two NPCs remaining. Let's do this. All we have to do now is put on the skydiving suit and exit via the atrium elevator. Now I say goodbye, and until next time, don't forget to have fun.